and i would just try to find like a more balance of like this is when you see us this is when you don't see us it's hard to say with that like in game because i feel like your stats in each game are like you're either doing a lot of damage with like weak cs or you're doing uh good cs with weak damage you just got to find the balance i can say though that if you're doing a lot of damage and you're getting like pressure in the lane you can start to like invade a little bit more are you invading a lot in your games like the, the, that game where you had like eight cs were you invading at all that game because that could be the difference between like that two cs right there or like late game like farming like that last game like i was still farming even late game uh until i'm full build basically you should always be farming and then even after that you should still be like setting waves and stuff so like that kind of compensates for cs you invade when you can that's good I would say uh, maybe play some other heroes, maybe play like Severog and stuff, just so you can see, not not to be like a Severog player, but just to know kind of like the trades a little bit better. And that might help you in terms of like trading a little bit more. Or like what like counters a character and things like that. Just so you have better matchup knowledge, your asset stacking. Hey, I mean, if you could stack, you could last it. You know what I'm saying? But it's more just about the matchup knowledge than anything. Alright, this guy lost like 3 CS for that. I'll take that. But that might be that, that might be like uh, something that could benefit you. Maybe learning some Severog. Again, just for like matchup purposes though, mainly. Un unless, you know, maybe you start to learn how to stack a little bit and then you become a Severog enjoyer. It's possible. mine yoink oh no we'll be getting this one as well nobody saw that that was calculated i meant to do that Yeah, just holding hands back to lane. Look, I jumped back to my portal. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do the portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant to do that so I could right-click him. That orange buff kind of beating his ass. Hey, yo. The fuck? That goes through the tower, buddy. What was that Kalari play though? What the fuck was that? That man said I'm a flash in just to get the mark. <laughs> like, alright. Oh, they have went taggy? Uh, we gotta try hard. Hold on. I didn't realize they had went taggy. Oh, we're about to pull up to his lane in a second. We're about to be spam ganking the Severog in a minute. <laughs> Every motherfucking wave. Ain't no way he just took my river. Oh, what the? What kind of pattern are you taking? The greediest path, bro. What the hell? I can't believe I just watched that with my own eyes. Leave her alone. What do you mean? Did you not just see the pathing? Anyone with alchemical rod. We have to bully him. It's a requirement for anybody that goes alchemical rod. You have to get bullied.
Is Femcake mid? Me and the rat? I have no control over the rat on my team, okay? He's doing what he wants. I want to spam gang solo. That's what I want to do. What's the name of this song? Black Parade. Black Parade, right? Yeah. Welcome to the Black Parade. Thought the rat was Grady. No, Grady's the Fang Mao. Yeah, I'm good at the game. I really just came there for those two last hits. Just his wave. <laughs> All right, sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. What can I say? When you're him, you're him. And right there, I was not him. Well, we're coming back for round two. Round two of the Wintegi gank train. Why are you here? Bro, get some bitches, man. I love getting walked down. I love getting walked down by autos. I love that he can auto me 18 fucking times full movement speed. Sick. Wow. I really wish they fucking would change that, man. That is actually so criminal. That shit is actually such a fucking dog shit mechanic. Wow! Holding left click! Not losing any movement speed. Whoa! That is such a dog shit mechanic, bro. That shit is so fucking gross. Red buff or not, that shit is gross as fuck. Like, red buff should guarantee, like, maybe two extra autos. Maybe. Enjoy this well-balanced game. Look, I like Pred, but shit like that makes me not like Pred. Because <laughs> that shit is actually, like... There's actually nothing I can do there ever to walk away from that guy. Because he just jumps into my portal. No matter what. And then he walks me down with autos the entire time. And I have no way to create enough space to actually walk away from him. Like, that shit is so dumb. That's why, like, ADCs are so strong, too. Because they do very similar things. And that shit is disgusting. There's not a lot of stuff like that, though, that, like, really gets me going. But, like... Getting auto attack down like that really gets me going, you know? Like, by like an ult following flash, that's another one of those things that like gets me going. Like, I get he's a melee character, but still, you know? If it's that big of a problem, put a slow on the right click or something. If you really want him to walk people down. Get you going angrily. In an angry type of way. In a this game sucks type of way. How do you better improve your CS a minute? By being better at CSing? I like there's like tricks to CSing, for example. One just like there's like some things where you're just like maybe walking past farm or not getting enough farm. What's up, Doom and how are you doing today? So like maybe you're like walking past minions, uh, or something like that. Uh, if you're backing inefficiently, you could be getting froze and losing farm, or your the minions could be dying to your tower because you're backing inefficiently at like bad times. Other ways that you could be missing farm would be uh, like you're not using your abilities correctly to CS the wave. Like you'll notice early game when I CS the wave, like first wave, right? I'll get one archer to like one HP, like within range to that of my Q, and then when I get that, I can Q the melee minion that's being targeted as well, and then I get two CS, right? So it makes it so I have less chance to miss it. A lot of people will CS immediately like this guy. I'm not going to use an ability until like I guarantee a CS with it. Like I'm going to guarantee that melee creep. 
and then it allows me to guarantee like more wave easier guaranteeing that i don't miss that but like some people will use the abilities immediately and if you use the abilities immediately yeah i'll still get the other cs from like the archers and stuff but i'll miss that one cs on the front so like that's like one cs on one wave that that stacks up you know what i mean just like little stuff like that really really adds up because once he has a wave you know that's two minions a, a minute that you're just missing i think my teammate's good at the cost of C teammate cs no your teammate should have similar cs it's very it's very possible for every single person in the game to have 10 cs a minute except for like support obviously and that's because there's there's five minions per wave and you get uh what's it called you get 10 minions per minute because there's two waves a minute so at minimum from the start of the game if you were to get every wave perfectly you would have 10 cs but then you also have cannons cannons are worth three you have river buffs river buffs are worth two so like if i get you know the first three minutes of the game what would be two minutes there's four waves there you have 15 from cs or sorry you have 20 from cs and then you have three from the cannon so you have 23 minimum and then if you get one river that's 25 that's 12 cs a minute and like you have opportunities to miss some like you know you're gonna have to back and all that kind of stuff uh and you're not gonna guarantee like perfectly cs every minion so like that's why it goes down to like 10 but like it's very possible and that's like that for every lane like if you're duo lane and you're adc you're still getting the same amount of creeps i am you know you're, you could still be getting that 25 creeps uh per like two minutes or whatever and then if they get gold buff, gold buff is like 5 CS or something like that. Or it's like 3 and then it scales up to 5, something like that. And then soul lane is very similar. And soul lane you can like take jungle camps. Uh, jungle camps are worth different CS's, so like... Red buff is worth, I think, 6 CS, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 5 camp is worth 7 CS, like stuff like that. 4 camp's worth 5 or 6, something like that. So like, you, you could definitely get 10 CS on every roll except for support very easily. If, like, everybody is playing perfect, obviously. Is he not gonna ult me? I was expecting him to ult my ult. Again, the get affinity. Uh, I'll probably end up getting it eventually. Same with like most characters, I'll probably end up getting eventually. Does that make sense though on like ways that you can improve your CS? Which one is best scaling mages? Uh, like suit, like late game. Who's the best mage? Gadget is pretty nuts late game. Bellica is pretty nuts late game. I mean, all the mages are pretty good late game, but those two are probably like some of the best. Morgesh is also really good. The problem with Morgesh though is she's single target. Usually, as a mage, you want to be AOE. So while she does scale really well, she is single target. You just got a Giga farm. Well, you just got to hit your camps. If you're hitting your camps correctly, you're fine. I think on a full jungle rotation, uh, like a full camp clear, the first one, it should be four from... You get 11 from the white camps on red side, and then you get six, so you should be at 17 on from red side, and I think blue side is the, the same. I think it's the same amount total. So one full clear is 14 CS. Or sorry, 34 CS. And that takes about three minutes so if you're still farming jungle perfectly uh you would still be above 10 and that's not including river buffs or like you know if you gank a lane you take a lane minion or something like that or like invading at all if you're invading you're also going to be higher cs or like getting objectives objectives are worth five cs i'm pretty sure they count as five cs it might not actually show i know it's five stacks for several so i imagine it's five cs Next game was 9.1 CS a minute, but your duo cried the whole game because you didn't gank. Do you just ignore him? Yeah, I would just ignore and focus on yourself. Like, if your duo lane's gonna cry, your duo lane's gonna cry. You have, there's a point where you have to let people cry so that you can improve 
what you need to improve at. If you have to get better at CS, and that's step one, because step one of your CS impacts every other part of your game. So I would say let them cry. If you're going to lose the game, if they int, like it is what it is, you have to practice getting your CS first, and then you transition getting the CS into like ganks, and then you like you slowly add to it. Step one is getting your CS. You know what I'm saying? And then like maybe once you get a little bit better at CSing and a little bit more consistent, then you can transition that into like, I can now put a gank in here, right? And then it's like, you keep the CS, but then you get the extra gank and stuff like that. Then you work on the other stuff. But CS is number one. That's the first step. Does that make sense? Obviously, if you're playing like really well, you want to be impactful on every part of the map. But I would just focus on doing what you have to focus on first. I'm going to say step 15. So I'm still working on that one. I hit him sometimes. Now, step one is your CS. Step two is learning how to like lane or like early game, like rotations and things like that, like pathing. Step three is learning how to trade, which is part of like laning. But that's like after you learn like matchups and things like that. Kind of just comes together. And then uh, after that, it's learning how to like rotate correctly, like have an impact outside of the lane. And then it's learning how to team fight. That's like the five steps. You can turn to TDM and your team gets mad. Yeah, I mean, if you're four levels up with the enemy jungler, you can just 1v5. Who cares what your team is doing? You know what I mean? If I'm Fang Mao and I'm four levels above everybody else in the game, I'm just going to one shot everybody. So, like, I don't really care if my team's crying. Especially at like a lower level. That's something that like lower level players don't really understand. Like, you don't have to fight to actually win the game. A lot of like super high level games are like kind of low kills. You're only three. I mean, it's the same thing, right? Three levels, it's still a big lead. Like if you're up three levels, but your ADC is down three levels, right? It's a trade off. Also, it might only be three levels, but it could be like 2k gold, right? So like there's also like a gold differential, not just an XP differential. And then at the same time, if you're like invading, you're like taking farm away from the whole team, not just the jungler, because there's a point where everybody on the team is going to be jungling or like doing jungle camps. Unfortunately, you saw me. His yes was four. Yeah, so then you're like, you're farming them, basically. Now you just got to keep that up and then transition that, like keep that like consistency and then transition it into other other aspects. I had that. That was weird. So you've been stuck as a trash can. Do you know how to improve? And what steps have you taken to improve? I don't know how long you've been in here, but hopefully some of the things I was just explaining could help you improve. He's making in. Yeah, they are making in. They're making her like every other carry. What do you mean, like auto attack based? Oh, that might be kind of interesting. Like, we always take a lot of learning, man. That's just 
I was fucking shit at MOBAs until I put like 1500 hours into them. Probably more than that, honestly. A lot of stuff just comes from looking what to, or like knowing what to look for and not get wrapped up by other people and just keep focusing on what you have to focus on. Because everybody has something to improve on, but you can't really like, you can't sacrifice what you have to improve on to try to help somebody. Because if you don't know what you, like if you can't do what you have to do correctly, then anything else that you do is gonna be incorrect, right? Like if you're behind where you're supposed to be at a point in a game, that's why I say CS is number one. If you're behind after a certain point, like you're never gonna be doing the correct play. Because you're just always gonna be behind. And even if it is the correct play, it's not gonna feel like the correct play because you're behind. So like, you have to start somewhere and you have to just focus on what you have to improve on. And that goes for like all aspects of the game, just using CS as an example. Your chat already and try to have fun. Yeah, I mean, you could try to have fun as well. Like, I mean, you could just take it as like a for fun thing. It's kind of where I was for like the first like 500 hours I played a MOBA. I just played for fun. And then I was like, all right, I'm sick of being dull gas. And then, you know, I started looking up information and getting more knowledgeable about how to play MOBAs. A lot of MOBAs is just knowledge, honestly. Like I say, I say MOBAs are like 70% knowledge, 30% mechanics. Still dog ass sometimes. What's up, Zap? Papaya. Oh, I'm doing all right, dude. How are you doing today? Galaxy Grease win. I don't think I'll do that again this game. We're against Wintegi, so I gotta win. I actually missed everything. Oh, what the fuck? Who's bands? I didn't realize he was playing the option. I didn't see him when I jumped over. Thank you for the follow minute though. If you have any questions, dude, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to try to help you get better at the game if that's what you want to do. Want to be a better support than Steve? I could get somebody to play the game for the first time, and they would be a better support than Steve. I'm just kidding. Any food and garlic? Non, you're happy now. I feel like you have that every day. I feel like you've said that every day for the past week. Not shade. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying. I'm just kidding, I love Steve. Can't match the Gideon portal double jump. Dude, so easily every time. It's just muscle memory. Keybind diff. <laughs> it's a keybind diff. Confirmed. <laughs> Do you play on controller by chance? It's a little bit harder to do on controller. Doable, but a little bit harder. Where's the PH? Right in front of fat ass. Because he's got a fucking wagon. Am I getting Jersey Mike's for lunch? You're doing it wrong. Are you driving to Jersey Mike's or ordering it? Because that shit's expensive. Got a macro. I don't use macros, man. I don't even know how you would set up a macro. I kind of think macros are cheating. People use macros in Smite for like VGS. I think that shit's cheating. 
Even for something as simple as that, honestly. That shit's like lame. Yo, stop gruxing me, man. A bot just came on. You can't uh, be gruxing me like this. Yo, Becky, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the Bird Nest for 21 months. Thank you so much. I hope you've been well. Hope the animals are well. I appreciate the resub. Thank you. What are macros? Macros are like you press one key, then the, the button, like that one key presses three buttons for you. Like it presses a three button combination for you. That's like a macro. That's how I understand a macro, at least. Yeah. It was driving you insane with doing well. Came foster a kid and found a new home for it. Pog champ. Do you have any new pets, or is it just the same, the same animals? Brother, thank you for the follow. I had to use all of my willpower not to say that in a Hulk Hogan voice. I just need you to be aware of that. I should have. I thought about it. It took all my willpower, I'm not gonna lie. Hulk Hogan would have been appreciated, my bad. Brother! <laughs> that was a terrible, that, that was terrible. I gotta do that again sometime. <laughs> I'll work on it, I'll work on it. <laughs> Come back tomorrow, I'll, <laughs> I'll have a better one. The like psychiatrist got wrecked and had surgery. Zenor Fridling doing good. That's what's up. I'm glad he's doing well. Menace to society. He just like me for real. What's the effort the uh, Hulk Hogan you've ever heard? I'm not in the I've, I'm not in the mindset to do a Hulk Hogan. You know what I mean? But you gotta come back tomorrow when I gotta get in the mindset. You know what I mean? Like I gotta get the I gotta get the facial expressions going and whatnot just to really get into it. It's already been willed out of my system. A super fan of gadget playing gadget or playing against gadget two different things Tainted last item I might try, uh, I was gonna go, what's it called? Fucking True Silver, because they have Richter. But I might actually tech into a Life Binder, see how it feels. My jump clip the wall feels bad. Just go back tomorrow. <laughs> Don't be so disappointed. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Whoa, Murdoch, I'm coming. I'm sorry. 
I didn't have portal up to come faster. Let me take that out of context. Watch me. Do you read books? Who reads books, bro? Y'all read books. I thought the do people actually do that nowadays? Or are we reading like ebooks? Read these. That's not nice. Could barely read as is. Doug, you guys are my book. I guess audiobooks count. I mean, they kind of count. And reading one written by the guy that wrote the Martian, it's pretty good. What book? Audiobooks are books too. I don't know if it's the same thing as reading though. You're just listening to it. It's a little different. Been reading audit learning books. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Fed in the chat. He knows you bought that oil filter the other day. I yeah, think you for pulling me out of the gadget all. Should play by play explaining my thoughts. Would hero. I, I need to make a request for that, honestly, is what I need to do. Also, it means I can't really read chat, which is like good and bad. Counters. <laughs> Alright, so we're not going to do it on counters. If I was to do that. But I will play counters for you. I'm not comfortable enough on counters to, to do it play by play counters. They should have hit that R&B shit. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I would be comfortable enough on uh, Wraith either to do it. He should be able to follow me there. Got the super jump off. Do it with like Sev jungle. Yeah, but I could do a jungle one for sure. Although I don't think I'm the best jungler at all. And I'm probably not the best person to look at for jungling. Although I have like a very specific style and then like it kind of works. So they're just stacking and fighting the off lane. Yeah, but I could do one for jungle, maybe. Like I said, I, I can make that tomorrow. Or like after the count this game, if I can get one more in. Yeah, please remind me to play count this, by the way, or I, I promise you I'm going to forget because I got goldfish brain. Doing commentary games for heroes, you're good with uh, so always good content. It is, but then it's also like some people just watch for like... You know the banter and whatnot and like the interaction so like it goes both ways while some people prefer that kind of content some people don't so just depends Ready, leave me. What 
Wintegi, who do you think you're going on, bro? I'm not life stealing you, buddy. If I could emote on him, emote on him, guy. Emote on him. Hit him with the emote. No emote for Wintegi, sad. That's actually a life binder diff right there, though. No cap. We'll take it right now. He's like up a storm, dude. He's pissed. The finder seems pretty good. It definitely seems all right. That's for sure. At least in like that situation, it, it seems like it could also be a little situational. It might be good against Gadget though, because Gadget wants to ult you and you ult, right? The 500 CS? Sheesh. I'm surprised this game isn't over yet, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I'm gaming. Guess we haven't really done objectives. Damn. I got away with murder there, I'm not gonna lie. I should've died for that. Ow, stop thornsing me. It was really rude. Group the wave second life steal. Don't you fucking do it. Bro, I'm trying to life steal. What the hell? Damn there, Grux rage quit after I took his blue and he died. That's tough. Don't kill me. Mega saved. GG. GG. Feel score better be criminal. What the fuck does that even mean? You guys are talking about books? I have no idea what books you guys are talking about. That was an FF angle? Yeah, I mean, that was definitely an FF angle. Their mid just kind of gave me giga pressure, and then I mean, 